Hey there, Matt from Rebuy's Merchant Success Team, and today we're going to be talking about upsells and downsells in the post-purchase flow. So upsells are the ability to offer an additional offer after the acceptance of a previous offer. So in this case, the upsell is tied to this acceptance of this initial offer. So as someone accepts it, they get an offer here. If they decline it, that's what we call a downsell. So offers that are displayed upon the decline of a previous offer. This specifically is one of my favorite examples of a successful upsell downsell flow. This merchant is actually using this as a great opportunity to sell to their most buying intent customers. And you can see here that we're obviously getting a great conversion on the initial offer, but still around 84% of people are saying no to this. And even less people are saying yes to their initial downsell offer. But we see that someone who has said no to this initial offer once, no to this first downsell, out of 14,000 people who have made it to this, about 15% have converted on this final offer. So there is absolutely revenue to unlock from these customers and it doesn't hurt to ask. So this is what we're going to be getting into today. So when I come into the rebuy admin under the post purchase section on the left hand side here, I've got two options, the post purchase flows and the post purchase widgets, all of the upsell and downsell is going to take place within a flow, but the flow is going to be surfacing widgets, We've got a lot of videos and how to's on how to create widgets, but you'll find all of those here and these will all be referenced within our post purchase flows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this one it could be an existing flow that we've got here. Let's just say it was this one. Wow, there's a lot going on. We will build up to this in a second. But let's start with something with a lot less and go from there. So in this case, we've got our initial offer. And this is the offer that would be surfaced first to anyone that checks out as soon as they press that pay now button in the Shopify checkout, we are going to surface this interstitial offer. And this is what they're going to get. Now, all of the widget settings and data sources are going to determine what someone is seeing in this instance. But let's just say it was an offer like this, a buy one, get one. This can have a rule set of if anything, return the input product at 25% off in this case. Say we wanted to offer that and they declined it, then what if we were to offer them 50% off? Before you go, hey, last chance, grab it for 50% off. So this is our downsell. Now let's make our upsell. So this would be if someone accepted the 25% offer, that's fantastic. Then what would I want to show that person? They're obviously very uh, intent on buying with us and continuing to. So what if we were to surface a gift card at 10% off? We've got another video about how to merchandise gift cards in the post purchase, but I think gift cards are a really interesting play to move up some of the AOV of a customer, but also guarantee yourself a second order. So this is a very simple initial offer accept it, they get the gift card, decline it, they get the, um, the same offer at a higher discount. So we can continue this on and have multiple acceptances up to two, you'll actually see that we cannot have a second acceptance, this is a Shopify limitation. So they can accept up to two products. In this case, we can't have a an initial offer accepted, a second offer accepted, and a third offer accepted. Um, but we can continue to downsell um, as well. So if someone says yes to the initial offer, no to the secondary offer, we can have a downsell off of that. Um, and then we can also rig upsells and downsells off of our initial downsell. So as you can see here, we can continue to surface offers to these customers and find some more value. If you're looking for a more detailed walkthrough of setting up your post-purchase offer, check out the support video down below.